My group is keep low. I'm that nigga, I can't let a nigga try me. I'm hype. Poppin' hot shit, come and find me. Y'all nigga shit, that's why your bitch like. What's up, everybody? It's Boy Fiat here from the Air Force. Okay. Today we're back with another reaction video. We got the first reaction on Bing Win Z Zero. Okay, Bing Win Z Zero. First reaction on Bing Win Z Zero. And it's a diss to Sneeko. Sneeko is horrible. You know, we know Sneeko. Um, I never reacted to Sneeko, but I know Sneeko. But y'all guys right now know Sneeko. So let's check it out. And I'm curious, man, to see, man. Let's get it. Hey, Sneeko. Does this outfit look familiar? Is it the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom with some discipline? Ooh, hold up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. Let's get it. And I'm happy to report that these are back in stock and a lot more at moistglobal.com. Last yeah. time I talked about you, I used you for a merchandise push as well, so might as well stick with tradition. I bet just seeing me in this attire again has just sent you on a full-blown winter soldier episode with your eyes rolling into the back of your skull as you're experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder because the first yeah. video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have yeah. not stopped whining since. It's yeah. already been three months. Can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally oh. I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. Oh. But unfortunately, I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are Ooh. because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Ooh. Three months. This guy is not even moving his body. And this guy is, 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 is you know, throwing it. He's throwing it out to Sneeko, and this guy stands still like this. Or yeah, sit. He's sitting still like this. Sneeko, you are an asshole, and you are a mother. <laughs> Just like that, bro. You know this guy is on that. He, you know he's on that, bro. Now let's get it. You have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, oh, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown oh, about the shit. whole thing, and then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them, <laughs> saying like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Oh, Welcome, dude. cocks, that kind of shit. Oh, and it got man. really under his skin <laughs> in a big way. So he started dancing around with a gun and oh, threatening shit. to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> you want to watch my clips? Nah, watch see. my clips. Watch my clips. You, wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were? Now, the reason he keeps saying That's watch crazy. my clips while threatening me here is because during yeah. the stream, I couldn't watch him live because he just mm. kept shouting slurs. So I said watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. Yeah. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a mm. fucking imbecile, you absolute buffoon. Yeah. What you have there is not clips, these oh. are mags. They're Whoa. mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. Whoa. The same way that this is also a mag. They're Whoa. all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. Oh, anyway, sorry shit. for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset. So, hold up. We are right now talking about guns. But we got guns as well. Listen here. For all the gymmers there, you know, they want to grow the guns. Check this and fire nutrition down below. I got the link if you got, you know, we got different things. We got, you know, the, the nutrition vitamin as well. C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, everything. So if you want more big guns, you're gymming right now. You're in the gym. Summer is coming. Go check that out. Let's get it. Set, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, yeah. because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. Three That's fucking crazy. months. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy Ooh. boy NPC bots are all canceling you. Mm. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just mm. going in there to complain about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with <coughs> anything on your own. You have yeah. no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Mm. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, mm. or NPC. And that's it. You never deviate from this path. 
Which is ironic, because you're, like, literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're, like, the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. It's mm. pathetic. But I'm getting sidetracked. You love yeah. to be super public about how much you hate antidepressants and you shit on anyone who takes antidepressants. Mm -hmm. But with the way you talk in your Discord server, I'm pretty convinced that you're only two or three messages away from asking your community to source antidepressants for you under... Oh, guys, if guys, y'all guys need me to help, to help, or the... Whoa. The guys need to help me. Um, I don't understand what what is the Discord, what is the NPC. Tell me down below if you know. I'm new to this, okay? I'm 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 new to this. Uh, you know, it's a whole lot of Microsoft thoughts in my head right now, and I'm, <laughs> you know, so that's why. Tell me down below. There's a table. Just get help it. with all this mental anguish you're going through, and I think mm. that honestly be a good idea. It might help you. Yeah. But I'm 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 I'm, get, I'm putting the cart before the horse here. Let's get How it. How did we get to this point? Mm. Well, I made that video about Sneeko, and I fully planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. Mm -hmm. I really did. All I wanted to do was highlight why I personally don't respect him. Mm. I know a lot of people criticize me for not tackling his points, and to that yeah. I say, bah humbug, this fucking goober didn't make any points. All he yeah. did was insult me and my girlfriend. He insulted mm. me and my girlfriend because I made fun of one of his friend's blatantly fake stories. Mm. He resorted to childish name-calling like, I'm ugly, and I don't go outside. That's not making any points. Like, what am I supposed to debunk, debunk there? No, actually, my mom thinks I'm handsome, and, and so does my girlfriend. So you're wrong. Factually wrong. There's nothing to debunk. The mm. whole point of the video was highlighting why I don't respect him. I'll go ahead and briefly give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to bring you up to speed on the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit, mm. and his opinion holds no value in my eyes. Okay. Is because... Hold up, my battery is dead, but I'm coming back. What's so up guys, we back again. Um no it's crazy man. It's it's crazy what's happening right now, but you know, let's get it. He publicly defends cuties as one of his favorite movies. Mm. Cuties We've helped millions of creators improve their SEO to grow their YouTube yeah. channels. TubeBuddy is a platform that helps you Thank you, TubeBuddy. Was a Netflix film that used real child actresses in sexual situations. So mm. they sexualized real children. A mm. fact that Sneeko himself acknowledges, but writes off as being okay because it's realistic, because in the real world, children get sexualized. I'll say it again. Mm. Regardless of what the intention of the film was, they missed the mark because what ended up happening is they sexualized the child actresses. Damn. That is a problem. Full stop. Damn. Even if the message was supposed to be the opposite, they still ended Damn. up contributing to the very problem they were speaking. Damn. Bro, I don't know about this, bro. Tell me down below if I need to react to that because this is... No, that's... It's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Not against. I watched Cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. I went in ready to hate like everybody else. I, I saw the cover and it was... I got clickbaited. So did you. You got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like, yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. And the people who are really mad about this aren't Gen Z. Imagine claiming children in sexual positions is Crazy. clickbait. Yikes. That's rough. Crazy. You admit that the children were sexualized. That is bad. Okay? That means the movie failed in its mission. I don't know okay. what you don't get about that. But regardless, I'm not here to just okay. keep hammering home the same points. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties, I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks, where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men. Even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man, moaning intensely, and it, it was traumatizing. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. Damn, bro, this guy is mud. Bro, this guy comes with evidence, evidence on evidence. Crazy, crazy. This is so crazy. Bro, Sneeko, if you come back, better come quick because this guy is not joking. I'm not lying. Okay, let's listen. Because this was, imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, nah, let me not say that. I love my, I queen. love you, my queen. And Dancing. you allowed Dancing. the love of your life to get, to get fucked up. by another man. What happened to the other three? Is there, why, is there, why, is there, why, is there, I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw it, like <laughs> three crazy. pumps in, I just got up and walked. <laughs> like feeling Bro. traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. To, I, but I think it's something everybody should do. 
just to test me. Oh! I, no, you know what? So my point with this was, why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships, shitting on people's relationships, mm. when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it? Mm. Now, if he's open about that being a fun. cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck, that's fine. <laughs> but he's not. It makes him mad every single time. Mm. So why the fuck is this insecure guy the one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships all of a sudden. Mm. That was the point of me bringing up that clip. Now, that's that was basically the whole video. I summed it up real quick. All I pointed out is I don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie I consider to be child porn. I think any film or any production that has real children being sexualized should crazy. be classified as child porn. No that's cap. how I view it. Maybe your definition's different, but that's how no I cap. personally view that kind of content. Mm -hmm. So him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me. And him being very public with his cuckoldry and how uh, scarring it has been, mm -hmm. it should be a lesson and an example that he himself is not great when it comes to relationships and all these things. Mm -hmm. And I posted that and it made him extremely upset and he hasn't stopped fucking crying about it for three months. So, fast forward to two Damn. days ago. I was streaming a Moist Esports tournament mm -hmm. and I went up to go to the bathroom. I had to take a shit. It was a double flusher, so I was on the toilet for quite some time, and I saw a Sneeko post that he's posted quite a few times now, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne. I'll play in the pig pen. So mm. I did. For mm. three months now, Sneeko's had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16-year-old girl's diary with pictures of boys from her class that she doesn't like. Mm. All about people that have hurt his feelings. This is his mm. wall of shame for people that have insulted him online. What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves out people that he's afraid of. So Turkey Tom, for example, made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic he is. And Sneeko tried to talk a big game to him, even challenged him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. Mm -hmm. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves Turkey Tom off of this. Damn, I don't know, Turkey Tom. Comment down below if I need to react that, to that video as well. And a lot of people are asking, you know, which headphones I got the Sony. This one is cheap. It's now crazy on sale on Amazon. Link in the bio. Check that out. Uh, so, yeah, man. This one is so good, cheap, and the bass is perfect. So, check that out as well. And the mic. I will put everything down below. Hold up. I got a different headphone as well. <laughs> the Sony. I'm not sponsored by Sony, by the way. But, yeah, if you want one. Check it down below. I will put it down below. Let's get it. This list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time, and they had a lot of beef. And mm. Brandon Buckingham actually challenged him to a fight. Mm. And Sneeko was very fearful of him. We'll get into that in... We'll get yeah. into that more in depth in a moment, but I just Damn. need to set the stage a little bit here. With this a so after seeing this for the hundredth time in the last three months, I finally just said, holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get fucked by numerous other men and also <laughs> insulted you for defending child porn. Wow. That's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, sad cuck. Damn. And this puppy really blew up on Twitter in a big way. Mm. Oh. Damn. Hello. You must be at your appointment. Your honey appointment. <laughs> Now, I will say it again. Yeah. What I did and what I am doing right now is mm -hmm. not canceling you, Sneeko. Mm. I am insulting you. I am mm. making fun of you. Something that you were supposed to be a huge proponent of, right? Wasn't like one of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what all of a sudden yeah. now it's now it's off limits, now it's canceling. You have become the SJWs that you criticize so much. I don't know how you don't realize that. We continue. He says, you know in your soul you would never say that to my face. To which I respond, you literally have a collage of people that hurt your feelings on the internet. You haven't stopped whining about me for months now, you goofy NPC. Even if you beat my ass in a fight, it doesn't change the truth. You're still a cuck who also defends child porn. I think this is important to talk about, and I just mm. talked about it recently. Mm. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever, it's to mm -hmm. challenge someone to a fight, you've taken a huge L. You've shown okay. that the person has got under your skin, and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight. That's low cap. That's low cap. You know, most of the people that say that stuff already lose in that, you know, in that word clash, no cap. Hey, yo. 
listen, let me let me fuck you up and live like that. That's crazy. But yeah, he's right, bro. On that point, I just expected more from Sneeko. I don't know, but it is what it is, you know. Let's go with it. It doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex with her in front of you. It doesn't do anything. Everything I've said still stands. Nothing changes. It doesn't even salvage your ego. All it is is a pathetic fucking attempt at attention. And I don't yeah. think you believe half the things you talk about. I really think Sneeko just panders as much as possible. He himself doesn't even stand by the things he talks about. I really don't think he has any beliefs of his own. He just echoes what he thinks is going to get him the biggest audience slash the most money. Mm. That's what I think. So this puffing out his chest to challenge me to a fight is clearly attention. That's what it feels like. Because you don't have the same energy for Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is more than willing to fight you any day of the week. Mm. But with him, you don't want to do that mm. for some reason. Why? Do you not stand by your beliefs when it comes to Brandon Buckingham? He has said all the same things about you that I am saying about you. So why is he exempt? Hmm? Why don't you want to fight him? That's so weird. This is what you said about Brandon Buckingham and fighting him. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes, than you know risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon Brandon Buckingham. You know if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. The full video here from Willie Mac is an absolute masterpiece on laying out every pathetic thing that Sneeko has ever done, said, or everything ever. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a banger. So it's as you can see, well. the people he's confident yeah. in fighting are ones that he feels confident he'd win against. I'm five foot six. I think he's six foot one. So the height advantage he feels very confident with. And he has every reason to. He would probably beat me in a fight. But like I said, that doesn't change anything. Everything I've said is still true. You are a cuck, self-admitted, and you have defended cuties publicly, which by more than just me, by many, is considered child porn. You're pathetic. Beating me in a fight doesn't change any of those facts. Yeah. I've also been super vocal about how I don't want to fight. Like, I I'm not afraid to say, like, I don't want to get hit in the head, right? Like, I'm afraid of <laughs> taking headshots. It's probably a super normal fear to have, so I'm yeah. averse to going into a boxing match, especially one that's just a clout-driven spectacle like this. Oh. That'd be completely fucking worthless. And I've been super open about that, which I'm sure you know since you keep saying that you've watched my content, so you probably know that I was never going to accept a fight in the first place. Especially since you're, like, significantly taller than me, right? Like, it, do it, does it wouldn't make any sense. And even though you would probably beat me in a fight, you're certainly not beating me in, like, an aesthetic physique competition because, goddamn, I blow your ass out of the water. Look at this fucking anime character physique I'm rocking. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're over here with that Abercrombie and Fitch from 1998. Now, uh, in yeah. Sneeko's credit, he did start going to the gym recently. Maybe I inspired him. And you know what? That's great. I'm glad I could have a positive impact yeah. on your life like that, Sneeko. Yeah, Getting into the gym well. is a fantastic thing, and you're going to feel so much better. And I know you'll start seeing results soon as long as you keep at it. And then finally, our last exchange goes very similarly to the others. You're not special from the other 10 soy boys who say the same thing. If you got a problem, stop talking on the internet. Let's solve it. So I said, got your Discord still working on responses? Brother, I have no problem. You started it and I made fun of you in return. You're upset about publicly admitting to cuckoldry and get mad at me for bringing it up. You should be mad at yourself instead. Have some self-reflection. Which it's true. I don't have a problem. You literally started it, Sneeko, and you even asked your audience to let me know everything you said and send me your clips. You actually asked for a response mm -hmm. and then got super upset when my response was a little too mean to your feelings. You took this, you How took is that this. not the ultimate cuckoldry, <laughs> like yeah. even more so than your girl getting clapped by a thousand men? How? Yeah. <laughs> like how can you, with a straight face, still call other people soy boys? Yeah. I'm not kidding, I really didn't want to oh. keep talking about you, but you won't stop talking and crying about me. It's sad. I understand you have a humiliation fetish, so hopefully this whole thing has helped you orgasm one more time from all of it. I, I, I don't think it's fun dunking on you, Sneeko. I don't. And I'm certainly not canceling you, but you keep doing this. So you forced my hand to make fun of you again. But anyway, uh, that, that's about it. See ya. That is deep. That's crazy, man. This guy... So yeah, man. Uh, what what I gotta say? What I gotta say? Hold up, hold up. First off, the one thing that really hits me and still is hitting me, the fact that Sneeko just 
and let another guy bang his chick that's so crazy and this guy is watching as well like bro what the f and you call her still your queen how so that's 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 that boy he really took me off and um yeah he got some some crazy facts on the side with that movie as well bro Ah, that's sick man oh guys tell me down below what you guys thought uh tell me if i need to react to those thoughts of nico as well hit the subscribe button hit the notification button check down below um the different things that i got you know like i already said bro definitely if you're starting with youtube go check that out if you you know if you're in class or you just want a, a normal headphones not just the hype check that out as well down below everything down below um and lastly i'll see you in the next video peace